Uh, good evening. <laughs> Sounds very official, doesn't it? Good evening. Um, let me just quickly do a... Oh, hang on. Hey, I changed the... I changed the, the name to this. Anyway, obviously it's going. I am hoping like nobody's business that you can hear me. You didn't update the title. I did. I did, Josiah. I can even take a photo of it. Um, this is obviously you can hear me. Um, what do I say? Share to a... I'll start a watch party. Start. Yeah. Um, anyway... Maybe it can still say good old grief because, um, what do I say? Da, 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 da. There we go. Um, because today is the second anniversary of um, Roger's, since Roger died. Actually, I do need to leave my glasses on, otherwise I can't read any of your messages. Hugs and love from the Taylors. Thank you, Taylors. Um, yeah, Josiah's just copying what I'm saying. Hey, Paige, nice to see you. Yeah, so um, we've been up to Whangatiao uh, today. My favourite jeans. Is it still on my favourite jeans? Kia ora, out of here. Oh, well, I, I, don't, I don't really care what it says. Hopefully people will just listen anyway and I can go back and edit that. If that's the, if that's the, uh, the worst that's happening today, um, I'm actually okay about that. Hey, Libby. Um, if you can all hear me and you can all see me, um, it's a miracle. It's actually a miracle. Um, so you you might also hear my my flatmates and uh, my um, Pepe Fangai, my foster baby. She's just out in the dining room. So today, yeah, we've been up to Fongatiao um, to see to see Rogers. Um, where Roger is. That's just our special place. And then we went and saw uh, Roger's mum, had a little visit with her. We were kind of outside. She was right at the door. Um, so it was lovely to see her. And then we've just all had KFC for dinner. Uh, I don't actually like KFC and I swore off it when Roger um, died. Hey Alethea, did I already say hey to you? Anyway, yeah, I swore I'd never have it again, but I was. Uh, once on the first anniversary and then today. So that's been our day and uh, I feel I feel okay, I feel a bit shit. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so if it says good old grief, well that's just it is, yeah. It is what it is. I do just I'm not going to talk for long tonight because I am pretty shattered. Um, you know, again, for me, the lead up to this, to an anniversary or something like this is, is always the hardest. Um, and I haven't had much sleep over the last couple of nights, particularly last night. Um, it's amazing, you know, as time goes on, I, I kind of, oh, I had KFC with you, Ash. I did not. Did I? Anyway, um, yeah, I have more regrets. So, you know, in the time leading up to Roger dying, there was just, you know, it was a very, very hard time. He was very unwell and um, not just physically, but mentally as well. And that's often the case when somebody's dying that they, you know, their head gets in the way a wee bit. Um, and one of my biggest regrets is that uh, on the night that he died we'd been up literally for two whole days with only a couple of hours sleep and I uh, got to about six o'clock and I'd been up all night and I just had to sleep I felt so exhausted and I, I regret that I didn't just hop into bed beside him and I don't know why I didn't do that um, because you know I, I've been sleeping in the same bed for years and even though he was in a hospital bed Nine times out of ten, I'd jump into his bed with him before he went to sleep, um, just to have a cuddle. And um, and I regret I regret not getting into bed with him when he was dying because he actually only 
lived another two hours after that. So I slept for an hour and then they woke me because this breathing had changed. Anyway, um, you probably don't really want to know or hear all of that, but regret is a really weird thing because it's very hard to change how you feel. Um, because you can't. Well, I can't. I can't change the things that I regret. Um, but that's alright. I'm going to go and see my counsellor and I'll talk with her about it. Um, so I want to talk about level two because my um, my title is level two again. Masks and uh, food parcels. So yeah, we're going into level two on Monday here in Auckland. And... Um, it's a different level two so you can still only gather in groups of 10 um, so we definitely won't be having church the following week um, and I am hesitant to have a physical church until level one but we'll have to see how long um, level two goes on for excuse me I'm going to sneeze <coughs> no I don't have coronavirus I have terrible hay fever um, anyway, uh, yeah, I, I will be very hesitant and I think that now we've seen, um, the, the virus spread in a couple of churches, I think there might be two or three maybe that have had coronavirus in them. Um, I think that reminds us that church can be a super spreader. So at this stage we will keep meeting online on a Sunday morning and you know we can start gathering together and meeting together for a cup of tea once we're in level two but to have a full-on big gathering not that we big as a church but um, I just I just don't want to risk that so yeah at this stage we will not meet till level one depends how long level two goes on for um, and when we do we will wear masks so even in level one, I I have bought some more masks after I took our masks that we had. Um, yeah, I took I took them out to um, Reverend Poesi out in Mangani. Um, his was the first church to have COVID nineteen in it, and so I took them out so that he could share them um, with his congregation or his neighbours or whoever needed them. Um, so I've ordered some more and we will have them, I've, I've ordered uh, disposable ones, so just use them. How do you meet online? What platform? Um, we meet on here, Libby, so on Facebook, um, on the church Facebook page. I usually share it to my Facebook page and we also on YouTube, you can just Google to our to Baptist YouTube and and it will come up. Hey, I'm Nicola Hubble and Samantha. Nice to see you guys. Um, yeah, so I I think at some stage we might try and um, have an afternoon where we make some masks because I'd like to be able to offer people. Um, that's okay, Libby. I'd like to be able to offer people the opportunity to to wear a reusable mask, and then we will just wash them each week. Um, or you can maybe wear your own reusable masks. Um, I just got some really cool power ones today, so I'm actually pretty excited to go out somewhere and wear them. Um, yeah, so that will be, that's that's what our plan is. Um, and like I say, we're just gonna have to play that by ear, um, but definitely start having cups of tea with each other. That'll be nice again, even though it's only been two weeks. I think because we've already been and had our lockdown, you know, earlier in the year and then to have to go back into it again, even though we've only been locked down for two, which essentially it'll be three, two and a half. It feels like a long time. Um, does anybody else feel like that? Does anybody else feel like it's been a long time? For me, it feels like forever since we met at church. Well, it's not. It's only three weeks. I guess it'll be four weeks before. No. It'll be longer than that, but yeah. I also just wanted to talk to you about um, 
Food insecurity. So one of the things that is happening and will happen in our community, in our communities, uh, in our city and in our country and the world, but let's just think about let's just think about locally for now, uh, is food insecurity. So there are already people who are losing their jobs. Uh, both Ollie and I, it's a lot harder this time. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, hey, Sarah. Yeah, thanks, um, Samantha. Yeah, so food insecurity. People are losing their jobs. Um, I, I was just reading, I got an email from Office Max today. So we buy our office products, mainly just our photocopier paper from them. But they're closing all of their stores. So they are going to be an online business. Um, I think the email said there was 15 stores closing. So you think about all of those people, and then not, it's not just in Auckland, but all around New Zealand, they will all lose their jobs. Um, yeah. So, and I know that you know we've we've even had people in our church who haven't been able to um, do their jobs and not really getting paid properly. Maybe just having some shorter hours, um, but that. You know that can be a huge, have a huge effect on on your income and um, on your budget. So I went shopping. I took David with me, and uh, we bought four food parcels. So the food parcels worked out to be about forty five dollars each, and in them we had uh, we we couldn't get any perishable goods because uh, we don't know how long we're going to have those. Um, kind of food parcels there but there was flour and sugar rice and pasta um, some tomatoes tinned tomatoes some pasta sauces uh, what else some marmite did we do marmite oh, I think we did peanut butter because it was cheapest um, so yeah some peanut butter um, things some baked baked beans or spaghetti um, there was detergent and toothpaste and some toilet paper. Um, what else was in that basket? Can you remember, David? I just see that you've just joined. Um, th we put some chippies in there and some biscuits and some crackers. So, you know, some things that the kids can can kind of nibble on if you if these food parcels go to some kids. Um, but really it was quite amazing to see how how far $45 can actually go. Hey Sandra. Oh yeah, noodles and soap, that was the other things. Um, so I, I think that um, I meant to talk about this on Sunday when I was uh, doing my live then, um, but forgot. Uh, so I guess I wanted to say if you would like to help with the food insecurity, um, by either making up a food hamper yourself. Um, these will all go into our mana, our mana cupboard because our, ma our mana cupboard is really bare because we've had a few people literally walking off the street already. Um, this is an area that we want to get involved in. Uh, it's going to just grow and uh, there's going to be more need. So if you want to help in some way with that you could either uh, do a whole food parcel it needs to be non-perishables at this stage we'd like to buy a freezer if you have a freezer sitting in your in your garage or you know somewhere it's not being used that you'd like to donate to the church then we would love that um, but otherwise we we will eventually look at buying one you can actually buy them fairly cheaply um, or if you would like to maybe um, just kind of make a donation, if you want to bank straight into the church bank account, you can um, you can bank it and then put um, food in the in one of the lines, the reference, put food, um, and then Manuela knows that that's a donation towards the mana basket. Or you could put mana mana in it, you know, in that line. Um, that would work as well and then we can just go out and do the shopping and buy some 
Um, I'd, I'd really like to be prepared uh, because like I say we've had some people kind of walk off the street and come in and say I've got no food um, you know and the cupboard was pretty bare so we've already given one of those um, food parcels away and um, look it was just a um, something that I did um, because I wanted to figure out how much it would cost to just buy those basics um, but I think that probably as a church we might um, spend a bit of money and make up a whole lot of uh, food food parcels um, and David and I we were standing in the back room in the which used to be the old crash and you know we were saying imagine if we could put shelves all along these walls and just have them all stacked so that so that we could give out food parcels to people who are coming um, so I'm going to try and um, work a little bit with the it's not vineyard anymore it's called the foundry so the the church that meets in our in our building on a Sunday evening um, we might try and work with them um, setting up a a food bank if you are keen to be involved in something like that then please let me know because Gail and I talked about it uh, between last lockdown and this lockdown and because it was one of the things that frustrated me so much during the last lockdown is not being able to be involved in supporting people like that and and we took we did talk about it we talked quite a bit about it but realized that it would come down to me having to 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 do it all the time and I'm already so busy but I just I just felt like we actually just have to step into it and um, I believe that God will provide uh, somebody who's really passionate about food and security um, and you know I've just been praying that he will draw people to our church who really do want to serve our community and and if we can serve them in that way that would be amazing so so have a think about it have a pray about it um yeah you can even if you just want to donate one or two things or one thing you know every tiny little piece of food going into somebody else's cupboard helps and i want to say our pataka kai you know it just keeps um it just keeps going and one day when I figure it out how to do it, I'm going to set up a camera to do like a time lapse so we can see how many times a day people come and go and they bring food and then, you know, people come and take food out and it's it's quite amazing to watch that. Um, so, so yeah, uh, hold on because we're nearly there. A uh, couple more days, what are we? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and then we'll be free again. Not quite a hundred percent free, but free enough. So, um, yeah, um, if you want to have a cup of tea next week, I would definitely be down at the church. You can come in, um, and we'll have a cup of tea together down there. Or if you need me to come and see you, just let me know. Um, that would be amazing. Uh, yeah. So, uh, have a good next four days. Um, maybe try and get some of those things done. I was going to walk. Oh. But the weather hasn't been very helpful, and so I'm blaming that. Um, and I was also, hey Darcy, um, I was also going to do some feathers. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. Um, I'm hoping that Prina might do a henna on me. Um, but if she is not up to that, then I will do some feathers for the korowai that I'm making. So uh, take care, if you are unwell, get tested, if you are going out, wear a mask, sneeze into your elbow, wash your hands, all of that jazz, um, stay safe and keep others safe, um, check in on your neighbours, check in on those you know who are living on their own particularly, um, yeah, let's, let's be the best we can be. Um, and let's be that for God. So, yeah. Uh, kakite anō. Oh, I have to do it with this hand. It feels weird doing it with that hand. Aroha nui. I'll see you all on Sunday here.